Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time in the Word of God with you. And let me tell you something. We certainly appreciate each and every one of you for being a part of our ministry family. That's right. You are definitely a part of our ministry family. And uh, no matter what area you have tuned into, we want to say thank you. And we most wholeheartedly welcome those who are tuning in from uh, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, YouTube Podcast Addict, Radio Line, Deezer, uh, Tumblr, our Facebook page, as well as Spreaker. Thank you for being a part of us. Uh, we've been in this journey uh, over three years, and I thank you so very much for your prayers and your words of support. If you have not taken the time to subscribe for our life applications, you have the opportunity to do so any day of the week. Uh, a few months ago, we decided to uh, issue our life applications the first Monday of every month. And so we issued one on yesterday. It is on our website. Our website is www.angelfergusonministries.com. And we're actually going to share with you today uh, that life application. And, and we're going to talk about uh, guarding yourself with knowledge. Uh, the enemy gains his entrance into our spiritual territorial houses when we lack knowledge of the truth of Jesus Christ. And so we're going to talk about that today. And uh, if you would like to receive your own copy in your email box of July's life application, please feel free to email us here at the balance of life. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. We have placed this on our website. Once again, let me give you our website, www.angelfergusonministries.com. Go over to the tab where it says Life Applications, and it is the first one listed. We have kept uh, the previous ones up there, uh, and as we update more per month, then we'll add them on all right we'll be back in just a moment as we share with you guard yourself with knowledge we'll be back in a moment and before I go any further I do know that I will have the opportunity tomorrow if the Lord prolongs his return but on tomorrow oh actually Thursday Thursday is my father's birthday that's right you've heard me mention Apostle Naaman Wilson Jr. Uh, awesome father man of God husband to my mother uh, it is his birthday on Thursday and uh, we definitely are preparing for that and as you know uh, we're also preparing to just say happy Father's Day you know Father's Day is coming up this month and so we definitely want to appreciate all of our fathers that date is June the 13th that is Father's Day so uh, I believe we should appreciate and say thank you every day um, I am no respecter of person and uh, listen, I just absolutely want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to our fathers near and far. Happy Father's Day to you. All right, let's get into this word. What we're sharing with you today, and I'm going to read it to you, and it's from our life applications. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we have entered a new month, some have entered a new season as well. And let me say simply unto each of you, 
welcome first of all yes on the calendar year we have we're in a new month we are uh, eight days in into June 2021 this is a day that we haven't seen before and and so never look at it as any other day because it's not this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it we should have an expectation about some wonderful things happening in our lives for the kingdom of heaven not just, uh, you know, our personal lives, but, you know, everything that is connected to us, uh, our, um, our children, our, our ministries, uh, businesses, uh, our grandchildren for generations to come, our siblings. Uh, we have an expectation that, guess what, today someone will come into the true knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A heart will be uh, converted and, and, and a mind has the opportunity to be renewed. Today, someone has the opportunity uh, to be delivered from a number of things. Listen, I don't care if it's uh, shopping addiction. Uh, whatever it is that is putting itself above the authority of Christ Jesus and uh, we want to cast those things down there are a number of things that people are addicted to it's not it's not necessarily drugs and alcohol or uh, some people are you know promiscuousness and we'll say that because I do know that we have uh, children that listen to our broadcast and and so I, I, I like to keep things in perspective and um, but there are many of things that individuals are addicted to today is your opportunity for deliverance and you know today is our day of intercessory prayer and uh, let me tell you something um, yesterday uh, I was spending some time with my mother and uh, pastor Valerie Wilson and uh, she wanted to come together and agree and pray about some things and uh, one thing uh, I, I make it known to those I'm close to those days that I set aside for intercessory prayer so uh, today she's joining uh, we're joining together to pray about some things and and then I definitely uh, have intercessory prayer on today for our listening audience as well as our viewing audience and uh, there are some other things and so I'm like Lord got me in these areas and and so I felt propelled to share with you what we're going to share today uh, guarding yourself with knowledge and uh, I, I just believe that today is someone's day uh, I might not meet you face to face I, I, I might not ever hear your voice or see your face but I believe under the sound of my voice through the guidance of the Holy Spirit that something we will share with you today is going to uh, stir up something within you being the Holy Spirit and the chains of bondage and wickedness can be broken and destroyed in your life I believe wholeheartedly that today is your day for a breakthrough that you are healed delivered and set free and that you are made hold in those things that once held you bound they're no longer holding you bound anymore that you are speaking positive to yourself uh, that you are reversing uh, the spirit of deceit with what the Word of God says and so today listen you gotta you gotta own up to it you have to come saying today is my day that this will never hold me bound that this will never hold me captive we have to be like the woman with the issue of blood she had an expectation that day she heard that Jesus was coming by she heard that Jesus was going to be in a certain area and after she had done all she could do uh, seeing this person seeing that person uh, spending all of her finances listening to this opinion and that opinion that day that she heard 
heard that Jesus was coming, let me tell you something. She she put it in her heart. She put it in her mind. She had an expectation. She said, but if I may just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. And so she had an expectation that if she came into contact with Jesus, that she would be made whole. That is what we have to have in our lives today. That's what we got to do today. We have to have an expectation that as I uh, as I come in contact with Jesus, I will be made whole. And how are you coming in contact with Jesus but through willing vessels that are willing to share with you about Jesus Christ? So, let's read this life application. It says, If you would allow me to share these simple yet profound words with you, I believe that it will help many of us as we currently uh, are as well as where we are going to be by faith. Guard yourself with knowledge. The enemy gains his entrance into our spiritual territorial houses when we lack knowledge of the truth of Jesus Christ. The words that we're being that I'm going to share with you are connected to a dream that I had, and I'm going to share that dream with you. I was I, I dreamed that I was in my home, and I decided to sleep on the couch, and across the room were these uh, glass doors, these sliding glass doors, and there were vertical blinds. And I lay down on the couch and I look and I see a female walking by. Now this female attempted to disguise herself uh, because she was of one uh, nationality but she put on enough makeup to appear to be another nationality. But I saw her arms. And that's what allowed me to know that she was trying to disguise herself. What this person was looking at was from the outside, like I said, walking by, looking at the doors to see if if it was locked. And she noticed that on one end, it wasn't locked. And I get up off of the couch and I walk over to the sliding glass doors and I pull the curtains back. I pulled the vertical blinds back to let this individual know that I see them. And I notice what they're looking for and the intent was to break in. At this moment, after I allow this person to know that I see them and, and everything, I call 911 and in this dream, I'm still in the dream, I call maintenance. And as I'm examining the doors from the inside, I notice that the locks that should go into the door on either side weren't long enough. So in reality, either side was unlocked. Stay with me, okay? So I've called 911, I've called maintenance, and I share with them, listen, the locks that are on either side on either end of these sliding glass doors they're not long enough to go into the slots to lock the doors and I had them to fix it right then and that was the extent of the dream now several things are taking place in this dream and I outlined them in our life application first of all I saw this individual I recognize the deceit of them trying to alter their appearance. Uh, I, I also realized uh, what she was looking at along with her intentions. And immediately uh, I let this person know that I saw them. And, uh, and then I went into making a sound. I, I let them know, hey, I see you. And then I went into repair mode. What we're saying here today is never assume that all bases in our lives are covered. The enemy is on a continuous journey looking for a way in. 
And in this season, it is imperative that we learn and put into practice some spiritual balance. And so do not become one-sided. Take the time to walk through your spiritual house. Examine where you are spiritually. And never assume just because I have accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior that I am protected from the attack of the enemy. Because he is looking for the areas that we have neglected that we aren't aware of that need to be covered we may assume that these areas are covered once again because we have accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior that does not exempt us from the attacks of the enemy he is looking for a way in and he starts with the mind if he can uh, allow a thought to be entered into your mind and it festers, meaning it grows, he has a way in. And that could come in in the way of low self-esteem, telling you that you're not good enough for uh, a job, for people, or even tell you you don't love yourself. Uh, will begin to tell you that you don't have the capability of learning. The enemy will tell you you do, you do not have the capability of needing others for help. Uh, it will also fool you to say that you have learned everything and, and no one can teach you anything. And so we have to be careful of that. But guarding yourself with knowledge of the true gospel of Jesus Christ, knowing what the word of God says about us as individuals and corporately is so important to our survival. So I want to take a break and then I'm going to go over to the word of God and I want to talk about the woman with the issue of blood. And the reason why I want to talk about this particular individual is because she went to different doctors and they told her after she had spent all her money, after she had done the things that they told her to do, that there was no hope for her. That's what the enemy will say. You know, when we're doing what we think we should do the enemy will say there's no hope there is hope and that hope is in Jesus Christ we'll be back in a moment And welcome back to the balance of life I thank you so very much for joining us today truly truly this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it listen I absolutely love each and every one of you I thank you for your continued support and your prayers and we want to be here for you if there is a specific prayer request that you would like to send to the balance of life our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Send us in your prayer request, your praise reports. And also, if your ministry is having an upcoming event, we would love for you to share it with us. And so we can share it on the air. I do know that... Uh, Coach Michelle, uh, we did have her on a while ago, and she uh, has an upcoming event that she is a part of, and we've been making mention of that event here on the air. So I want to make sure that we continue to show our support to her and um, this conference that she is a part of, and we'll get you some more details on that. Uh, and also, uh, if you are a uh, a woman and you are looking to connect to a dynamic um, prayer um, team, you know, for women who pray, I would love to share with you uh, purposed to pray uh, prayer ministry and. Uh, 
that is with uh, Prophetess Melissa Kelly. It is for women, so I would need for you all to please uh, email. And uh, let me get that email address for you uh, so that you can reach out to Purpose to Pray. It is purposed to pray at yahoo.com. P U R P O S E D T O P R A Y at yahoo.com. Once again, this is for women. This is a women's ministry, and it is purposed to pray ministries with Prophetess Melissa Kelly. All right, let me get um, let me get this information up here on my screen for uh, this awesome, awesome ministry. Which is for uh, Coach Michelle Mayfield. And it is space for her. It's a women's conference being held July 16th through the 18th, 2021 in Trenton, New Jersey. It is a hybrid event with in-person and online options. For more details on how you can uh, find out if, if this is something you're interested in, uh, there is a link that you can go to. It's actually also on Facebook as well and let me get to this uh, it's on her page Michelle Roundtree Mayfield a space for her and let me see looks like they've changed a few things so I'm going to try and go to the link that she sent me because I want you to get directly to the link so that you can check it out on your own it is $25 per day all right it is uh, space for her conference dot org so if you look up HTTPS semicolon backslash backslash www dot space for her conference dot org you can get more details um, about the conference it's a space for her and once again it is twenty five dollars per day per person you can uh, tune in virtually you do not have to travel to uh, Trenton New Jersey you can uh, tune in virtually so I think that's a good event to share with you all right so let me take a look at this word over in Luke, the 8th chapter, beginning at the 43rd verse. It says, And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which has spent all her living um, upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood stanched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter uh, and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody had touched me, for I perceive the virtue that has gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him and declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. So here, let me tell you something. When you have within you, when you get a clear understanding, listen, who touched me? Touch Jesus. Uh, Matthew gives um, another account. So I want to read Matthew's um, the ninth chapter. It says, And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and, came behind him and touched him of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. So what I'm saying to us today, for those of us, you want to be guarded against the attack of the enemy. There are some things going on in the mind that you want deliverance from. 
here is the key for that deliverance and that is Jesus Christ even with the dream that I had I was aware when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior he then prays to the Father to give unto us the gift of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is there to reveal unto us the mysteries of God's Word. He reveals and He speaks what He hears from heaven. The Holy Spirit is a part of the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They are one. And so if you are wondering about what is going on in your life, why am I feeling like this? Why are things happening to me? Examine your life. And then I want you begin to begin to pray. And ask the Holy Spirit to reveal. Guard yourself with knowledge. Know what the Word of God has to say. About those who have accepted Jesus. As Lord and Savior. And have an expectation. That if I may touch but the hem of his garment, meaning if I may uh, allow him in my life, if I may get into his presence, I will be made whole. We're praying continually that your spiritual eyes are open. That your spiritual ears are open and fine-tuned. There's another scripture I want to share with you that just came to mind. And so I'm going to look it up. And it is warning comes before destruction. That's right. Whenever destruction comes, God sends a warning. I feel that here, when I had this dream, that was God warning me. He was warning me to be on alert, to watch. I went to sleep in this room, okay? And as I laid down, I, I saw this person move. And the vertical blinds, they, in the dream, they, they appeared to be not closed all the way. But I saw the individual walk by. I saw them looking at the locks. I saw them. I saw so many details. To me, that is the Holy Spirit warning me. That's right. He is warning me uh, to be aware he is warning me to pay close attention to what is going on around me. Also, he is warning me not to assume that I have certain things covered. Oh, he's warning us today. And it behooves me to send out the alarm to others. That's right. It, it's up to me. I, I've received the warning that I share the warning don't assume that you have everything covered simply because oh I'm a child of God nothing you know listen the enemy is looking for a way in he is looking for a way in and I don't want you caught off guard so he does warn us he warns us before destruction comes okay so when I come back I'm going to share with you some more scripture verses pertaining to this very thing let's see what this says before I go on break uh, Proverbs 21 and 1 the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water he turneth it whether soever he will God warns us. 
So when I come back, I'm going to share with you some more scripture texts. I pray that what we're sharing with you is helping you profoundly. We'll be back in a moment. And welcome back to the balance of life. I thank you so very much for joining us today. Let's read this right here, Matthew's twenty four forty two. Let's go there. Twenty four. What does the word of God say? It says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord do cometh. But know this, that if the good man of the house hath known in what hour, in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. So, this right here is a warning. If we stay in tune with the Holy Spirit, and we allow him to reveal when the enemy is going to attack us. And he will. Okay? Warning comes before destruction. Have you ever had a dream? And it was a dream about some trouble? That's warning before destruction. That's what that is. It's giving you a warning in advance. Also, he can send a man or woman of God to, he can reveal it to a man or woman of God who will come to you and warn you about straightening up your ways. That's what he told Ezekiel over in uh, the 33rd chapter. And actually, we did share this on the uh, television ministry of the balance of life on yesterday and you can um, find us on the YouTube channel and it is entitled Watchmen Are You There? Ezekiel 33 says again the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. That's what we're doing here. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, listen to this, whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, you have to have an expectation by asking the Holy Spirit to reveal what's going on in your household, what's going on in your neighborhood, in your city, in your state, in your counties. It says, whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, are we hearing the warnings? Not only are we to hear the warning, listen out for the warning, I should say, but what are we doing when the warning comes? The verse goes on to say, And taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. And so, if you hear the warning, if you've been given a dream of a warning, of trouble ahead, or as I had a warning of the enemy watching me, watching my doors, seeing how they can get in if I don't take action to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal the areas in my life that are uncovered when the enemy does gain entrance whose fault is it it's mine because I didn't take I, I didn't do anything with the warning that's the same thing that the scripture is saying here and I'm going to back it up and, and you can go back and read this. This is Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of, of thy people, and say unto them, 
when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword, so you have to see it. How do you see it? You can have a dream. You can have a vision. God could send a man or a woman of, of, of faith to come to you to share with you what was revealed to them concerning you. We are watchmen for our children, for our households. I cannot tell you how many times I've had a dream concerning my children, uh, my siblings, uh, other ministries that I'm connected to. I get up and I pray. Uh, when he leads and guides me to send out the, the, the warning to discuss it with the individual, I do it. Now... If when they hear the sound, it is up to the individual what they're going to do with the warning. If they don't do anything with the warning and the enemy gains entrance and the hurt and harm actually takes place, it's up to the... It's because they didn't take heed to the warning. They didn't do what they needed to do to reverse, to turn back the warning. That goes back to the woman with the issue of blood. The enemy had placed within her, she was doomed. There was no help for her. But she heard that Jesus was going to be in, air, in an area. And she made it her business that day. She said, listen, I got to get in his presence. I have got to be made whole. So don't take it for granted when you have those dreams. Pray. Listen, there, uh, there, there have been some times that I am asleep. I mean, in a good sleep. And I could hear my name being called. That I have awakened. And I'm thinking somebody in the room with me. Listen, everybody else sleep. But I get up. And I say, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself. Is that, is that you calling me, Lord? Holy Spirit, if it's something that you want to share with me, is there something that you want me to see? Is there something specific you want me to pray about? Reveal it. When I've had dreams and I've seen things and I get up. I've made it a practice to write down those things. I might not reach for the tablet, but my phone is always near and I'll, I'll type the dream out in my phone in the notes area. Or I'll get up and I'll write it out. Because one too many times I have fooled myself by saying, oh, when I wake up in the morning, I'll write the dream out. Well, guess what? The enemy is going to come immediately to snatch the details of that dream. Why? Because he does not want me to issue the warning. Guard yourself with knowledge. Which is found in the word of God. Guard yourself with knowledge. Make sure that the areas of your life are covered. Knowing and unknowing. And so don't assume we got everything covered. Go down the line. I'm not talking about those surface things. Start with your mind. Guard your mind. Keep your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Guard your mind. That is where the enemy plants seeds of doubt he plants seeds of destruction he plants seeds of listen that you your body you might be going through a sickness in your body but it is it unto death no one knows the day nor the hour but Jesus Christ
you might be carrying someone in the spirit the sickness might not be yours but if we don't take the time to examine ourselves our relationship that's what it has to come down to examine your relationship and once again go through your house we gave you scripture over in Matthews about watching therefore for ye know not what hour your Lord do cometh but know this that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. The same as he, he's going to, we should hear the trumpet, we should hear the sound of the trumpet. I don't know about you, but listen, I am, I am on an alert and I am looking and I am watching and I am asking the Holy Spirit to reveal those areas that the enemy is trying to get in his main port is through the mind the thought process other ways that he will come in to attack us are through our finances he will try to distract us to get us off of focus of what we're supposed to be doing for the kingdom of heaven with things that seem of as if they are so important but in fact they are not and they will distract us and they will get us off course so I want you to pay attention to your spiritual surroundings mm-hmm Pay attention to your spiritual surroundings. You ever woke up and you got an attitude when you wake up? Or you're complaining as soon as your eyes open? Why is that? What transpired while you were sleeping? What happened before you went to bed? Find out why you're going through these things. All of a sudden you got an attitude. You know, you could be around, uh, you can be, everything could be going well. And you get around a certain um, atmosphere and you got an attitude and you don't know why. Find out what has been attached to you. If you are uh, with a group of people and you want to grow and they, they want to um, remain stagnant where they are, listen, sometimes you, you got you to gotta shift and come out from among that. There is a stronghold there. There are some individuals that have a spirit upon them. They don't want anything out of life. And guess what? That spirit doesn't want you to want anything out of life either. And it has attached itself to you. And every time you think that you want to do something, guess what? The thoughts that are there and, and immersed by the Holy Spirit, injected by the Holy Spirit, before you can even operate in a thought or, move, or, or think about moving forward, that thought is killed in the process of just thinking. What I'm saying is as soon as you can say, oh, I think I want to um, start a business. By the time you could think about what type of business, then the enemy has uh, killed that thought. With telling you, oh, no, you can't do that. You, you don't have the education for that. Uh, you don't have the money for that. Uh, who, who's going to um, support you? And it's killed in the thought process. Let us guard ourselves with knowledge. What did God say to you concerning you? What did he say? We're going to continue uh, in this uh, Watchmen series as we learn more and the Holy Spirit begins to reveal more to us as he allows us to. I Listen, I don't mind sharing as I am instructed, but the dream was so strong. I know it's a warning. And so I'm warning you today as well. 
watch as well as pray and when you receive the warning do something about it get in the presence of Jesus Christ guard yourself with knowledge of the truth about what God has to say about you I love you without measure simply because I believe in the potential of you have a blessed day everyone